am in my second term. It has been an extraordinary privilege for me to serve as President of the United States. I cannot imagine a greater honor or a more interesting job. I love my work. But under our Constitution, I cannot run again. I can't run again. I actually think I'm a pretty good president. I think if I ran, I could win. But I can't. So there's a lot that I'd like to do to keep America moving. A Ten Commandments monument at the Oklahoma State Capitol must go. Its Supreme Court reaffirmed a previous ruling Monday and denied a rehearing requested by the state's attorney general. The court had found previously that the monument is a religious symbol and ordered it removed because it violates the state's constitutional ban on using public property to benefit a religion. In this latest decision, the chief justice said arguments on behalf of the Oklahoma Capitol Preservation Commission did not merit a rehearing in the case. A group unveiled a bronze statue in Detroit this weekend paying tribute to Satan. The goat-headed figure stands more than eight feet tall. The Satanic Temple had plans for a private event, but the restaurant owner canceled reservations after learning of what was planned. The statue was meant for the state capitol in Oklahoma City until its Supreme Court banned a monument of the Ten Commandments. The Satanic Temple says it supports separation of church and state. It now wants to erect a figure outside the statehouse in Arkansas, where Ten Commandments monument is planned. The lines ran along the graffitied walls, at least 100 people eagerly waiting for what's been kept well under wraps. It said uh, dress like an animal or wear horns and tails. Some drove in from as far as upstate New York to see the Satanic Temple unveil a nine-foot-tall bronze statue of a goat-headed Satan. It just seemed like it'd be a historic event. <laughs> It was raw passion and belief on display for public consumption. And this demonstration was a protest of the plans of the Satanic Temple of Detroit. We understand that freedom of religion means we have the freedom to uh, express what we believe as well. It's more of a motive to um, get rid of religion or to make fun of religion. And I don't, I mean, I don't think that they should do that. Meaning, if you don't believe in God, and that's what the Satanic Temple group says, they don't believe in God. And they also say they don't believe in the devil. So why would you create an image that represents the devil? This protest was held away from the unveiling site only because the satanic temple kept its location a secret only known to hundreds of paid ticket holders i think it does add to the alert i think some people are a little bit worried that there will be uh attacks there was talk of arson from religious groups so it's uh, a little bit of it's a little bit frightening and a little bit attractive at the same time what seems to bring this relatively quiet passive group together is a shared belief i thought that satanism was a uh, deification of satanism or sort of the devil like kind of the christian devil which is totally not the case um it is more of like, you know, only worship yourself. And a desire to see that belief understood. A lot of people that in fact are protesting out here that uh, they're more looking at it as a, uh, there, there were double worshipers, which we're not. The Boy Scouts now allow gay scout leaders. President Bob Gates announced the change Monday. For far too long, this issue has divided and distracted us. Now it's time to unite behind our shared belief in the extraordinary power of scouting to be a force for good the Boy Scouts of America had allowed homosexuals to be Boy Scouts, but not to hold leadership positions. Gates said policy was not sustainable and would lead to lawsuits. Church sponsored, church sponsored chapters that object to gay leaders on religious grounds are exempt from the policy. Still, denominations that host most chapters are threatening to leave the organization. Tonight, at least 30 large wildfires are burning in the West, nine in California, where flames are forcing thousands to flee. John Blackstone is in North Fork. Look at the size of that. Vacationers near Bass Lake were forced to flee as white smoke billowed in the air nearby. The fast moving fire erupted without warning in the dry Sierra Mountains southeast of Sacramento. The flames from the crest of the ridge there are going 500 feet tall. The Willow Fire began burning in dense forests Saturday afternoon, quickly doubling in size by Sunday evening. Here in Lake County, mandatory evacuations after this massive fire spread from 150 to more than 3,000 acres in just six hours. You don't realize what it feels like to be displaced until you are. You can see from the air fires surrounding these mountain homes. In just minutes, flames engulfing this house. Air tankers dropping retardant, trying to contain the blaze. In Oakhurst, fires spreading and exploding in the night sky. That fire at 30% containment now, over 2,000 acres burning since Saturday. Officials announced yesterday the fire was started by a juvenile male. The winds have died down somewhat this morning. That will help firefighters, but it's going to be another broiling hot day out here. Triple digit temperatures again, just what they don't need.
case in particular with what happened in Rafa on August 1st, we as Amnesty International are also saying that the actions of Israeli forces should be investigated as possible crimes against humanity. With the implementation of the Hannibal Directive, and once that directive was called, and it was clearly policy and also statements by Israeli commanders subsequently and by Israeli soldiers, some of the testimonies that, come out, that have come out, lead us to question what was the intent of the uh, Israeli the massive use of firepower. Militaries used to have something of a monopoly over imagery. Worldwide anti-Semitism has reached pre-World War II levels. This according to Abe Foxman, the outgoing director of the Anti-Defamation League. In an interview with the Times of Israel, Foxman warned that no Jewish community outside of Israel is immune to the dangers of anti-Semitism. Just last week, a Jewish family in Paris was attacked in their home. The parents and their daughter were seriously injured when three masked gunmen brutally beat them, saying they did so because the family is Jewish. This is just another in a series of horrific attacks against the Jews of France. So far this year, there have been more than 500 anti-Semitic incidents, which is an increase of over 84% from 2014. The worst, of course, was the attack on a Jewish market by an Islamic terrorist in which four people were murdered. The drastic rise in attacks and anti-Semitic sentiment has resulted in a record number of Jews fleeing their homes in France and immigrating to Israel. Despite recognizing numerous places in Israel as World Heritage Sites, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, still allowed its annual meeting to be turned into an Israel-bashing forum. Several Arab nations submitted a vehemently anti-Israel resolution accusing the Jewish state of endangering the Temple Mount. It's important to note that the document declares that the Temple Mount is a Muslim-only holy site. It accuses Israel of occupying the old city of Jerusalem and calls the Western Wall a Muslim plaza. The Islamic Waf, which controls the Temple Mount, restricts Jews and Christians from visiting the holy place. Nevertheless, UNESCO is blaming Israel for the site's endangered status. Israeli officials slammed the resolution, saying that UNESCO is ignoring Jewish and Christian ties to Jerusalem. Dr. Dory Gold, the Director General of Israel's Foreign Ministry, said the resolution is completely one-sided, full of distortions, and is totally disconnected from reality on the ground. He added that it deliberately ignores the historical connection between the Jewish people and their ancient capital, along with Christianity's age-old ties to the Holy City. Dr. Gold blasted the UN body, saying the historical sites of this area are being systematically destroyed by jihadist forces, and that UNESCO's adoption of an utterly false allegation about Israeli archaeological practices is misplaced and hypocritical. The pictures we saw yesterday on the Temple Mount have proven beyond any doubt that the Muslims, the radical Muslims on the Temple Mount are not plain prayer, prayer, people who come to pray, but they're actually terrorists by all means, and they're trying to frighten us from going out to the Temple Mount. We will continue to come to the Temple Mount. We will call all Jews and all non-Muslims to come to the Temple Mount, and all believers in God to come to the Temple Mount, because the Temple Mount is the holiest place in the world, and we will not allow any violent people, we will not allow any terrorists to steer us away from the holiest place in the world. We will call upon the Israeli government to do everything, any, every means possible to fight uh, this, these terrorists uh, to show zero tolerance towards uh, this behavior and to bring it once and for good, to stop these, uh, this violence on the holiest place in the world and to bring back the dignity and the honor this place deserves by more presence uh, of people who are faithful in God, Jews and non-Jews, and by bringing and, and fighting all of these uh, violent terrorists that are doing it in the name of God, so-called, but actually are disgracing God.
Israeli archaeologists have painstakingly identified an ancient burnt parchment as the Book of Leviticus. The scorched fragments were discovered nearly 45 years ago and have remained in storage until advances in modern forensic technology made it possible to scan them. The scroll was discovered inside the Holy Ark of an ancient synagogue at the Ein Gedi excavations on the western shore of the Dead Sea. Using micro CT scanning and digital imaging software, technicians were able to virtually unwrap the scroll and were amazed to read the first eight verses of the Book of Leviticus. According to carbon dating, it is 1,500 years old. Panina Shore, who is the curator of the Israeli Antiquities Authority, described the extraordinary discovery as the most significant find of an ancient Bible after the Dead Sea Scrolls. I am in my second term. It has been an extraordinary privilege for me to serve as the President of the United States. I cannot imagine a greater honor or a more interesting job. I love my work. But under our Constitution, I cannot run again. I can't run again. I actually think I'm a pretty good president. I think if I ran, I could win. But I can't. So there's a lot that I'd like to do to keep America moving. A Ten Commandments monument at the Oklahoma State Capitol must go. Its Supreme Court reaffirmed a previous ruling Monday and denied a rehearing requested by the state's attorney general. The court had found previously that the monument is a religious symbol and ordered it removed because it violates the state's constitutional ban on using public property to benefit a religion. In this latest decision, the chief justice said arguments on behalf of the Oklahoma Capital Preservation Commission did not merit a rehearing in the case. A group unveiled a bronze statue in Detroit this weekend paying tribute to Satan. The goat-headed figure stands more than eight feet tall. The Satanic Temple had plans for a private event, but the restaurant owner canceled reservations after learning of what was planned. The statue was meant for the state capitol in Oklahoma City until its Supreme Court banned a monument of the Ten Commandments. The Satanic Temple says it supports separation of church and state. It now wants to erect a figure outside the state house in Arkansas, where a Ten Commandments monument is planned. The lines ran along the graffitied walls, at least 100 people eagerly waiting for what's been kept well under wraps. It said uh, dress like an animal or wear horns and tails. I am in my second term. It has been an extraordinary privilege for me to serve as President of the United States. I cannot imagine a greater honor or a more interesting job. I love my work. But under our Constitution, I cannot run again. I can't run again. I actually think I'm a pretty good president. I think if I ran, I could win. But I can't. So there's a lot that I'd like to do to keep America moving. A Ten Commandments monument at the Oklahoma State Capitol must go. Its Supreme Court reaffirmed a previous ruling Monday and denied a rehearing requested by the state's attorney general. The court had found previously that the monument is a religious symbol and ordered it removed because it violates the state's constitutional ban on using public property to benefit a religion. In this latest decision, the chief justice said arguments on behalf of the Oklahoma Capitol Preservation Commission did not merit a rehearing in the case. A group unveiled a bronze statue in Detroit this weekend paying tribute to Satan. 
The goat-headed figure stands more than eight feet tall. The Satanic Temple had plans for a private event, but the restaurant owner canceled reservations after learning of what was planned. The statue was meant for the state capitol in Oklahoma City until its Supreme Court banned a monument of the Ten Commandments. The Satanic Temple says it supports separation of church and state. It now wants to erect a figure outside the state house in Arkansas, where a Ten Commandments monument is planned. The lines ran along the graffitied walls, at least 100 people eagerly waiting for what's been kept well under wraps. It said uh, dress like an animal or wear horns and tails. Some drove in from as far as upstate New York to see the Satanic Temple unveil a nine-foot-tall bronze statue of a goat-headed Satan. It just seemed like it would be a historic event. <laughs> It was raw passion and belief on display for public consumption. And this demonstration was a protest of the plans of the satanic.